Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor and in this video, we'll try to work out the coordinate of the centroid of a quarter circle. Now this is going to be very interesting and if you've seen the previous problems, you must have identified that all the plane figures that I dealt with before this video were actually symmetrical about either the x axis or the y axis and therefore there was only one coordinate that we had to deal with. But in this case, this figure is neither um, symmetrical about the x axis nor it is symmetrical about the y axis. So this is going to be a pretty long approach and we have to calculate both of them individually. Okay. So first of all, we are going to go ahead and calculate the y coordinate of the centroid okay, of this quarter circle and for that I need a vertical strip. Vertical strip for y coordinate, horizontal strip for x coordinate. That's, that's um, something I, I would suggest all of you to implement. Here we go. So this in front of you is a vertical strip having a height as y and this y is nothing but the y coordinate of the centroid of this strip. So, so okay, this distance is nothing but y by 2. So this y has to be replaced by this y by 2 and as far as the area is concerned, this is dA is equal to y dot dx. Now, quarter circle also is in fact a part of a circle. The equation of a circle is also applicable to a quarter circle. Therefore, what we can write is x square, this is the equation of a circle, x square plus y square is equal to r square. Now, assuming that this is having a radii of r. All right, looking good. Now, I need to plug in the values. So, integral, okay, y can be written as y by 2, dot dA can be written as y dot dx and we need to write the total area, the total area of this quarter circle and that's one fourth, one fourth of what, of a circle in fact, right. And what I'll do is, I'll put in the limits from say 0 to r, okay, so that this, this rectangular strip is going to sweep from here until we reach here and in that sense it will be covering the entire area of the quarter circle. So you need to put limits from 0 to r and that's it. This is what you need to solve 2 times of 2 and this 2 will travel upwards and then finally the integral that we have in front of us is this integral of let me, let me drop this initially okay um, this is going to be 2 over pi r square and this is the integral in front of us and that's 0 to r and we have this y square dot dx. Now y square you can clearly see can also be written as r square minus x square. So just put in the value of uh, y square is equal to r square minus x square over here and then everything shall fall in place. Okay, let me do it over here. 2 over pi r square and this is going to be very interesting from 0 to r and that's r square minus x square times of dx. This integration is not, not very complex, it's very easy and this is going to be 2 over pi r square and we have this r square will become r square x minus x square will become x cube over 3. You need to plug in the limits from 0 to r once you put in the upper limit and the lower limit. Well, don't worry about the lower limit as, as it's 0 and this, this is what you're going to have 2 over pi r square inside the bracket you will have this r cube minus r cube over 3 and once you solve this 2 over pi r square multiplied with this 2 r cube over 3 right so r square and r square will cancel or what remains is 4 r over 3 pi. So guys you can say the value of y bar that we've achieved is equal to 4 r over 3 pi an extremely important result in the context of centroid calculation for a quarter circle. Okay now let's go ahead and let's try to find the value of x bar. Here we go. For x bar we need a horizontal strip something of this sort. This horizontal strip is is this over here, this is what, that's x and this over here is 
dy my friends so the area of this rectangular strip can be written as da is equal to x dot dy okay what's next this is having a, an equation as x square plus y square is equal to r square so what i'll do is i'll try to find the value of x square x square is going to be equal to let, let me rub this initially x square is going to be equal to r square minus x square well why i have calculated the value of x square is something that you can understand right now now this over here this is nothing but the x coordinate of centroid of horizontal strip horizontal strip in that sense this horizontal strip is going to have a centroid somewhere here and this over here is the x coordinate of the centroid of the horizontal strip which can be written as x over 2 so in place of this x you have to write x over 2 and this is going to be very interesting let let me start x bar is equal to an integral okay this is going to be what x over 2 multiplied by da da is nothing but x into dy x into dy so the operator is dy whole divided by the total area so the total area of your semicircle is nothing but one fourth of that of a circle so i'm going to write pi r square over 4 so 2 times of 2 is 4 okay now you need to plug in the limits limits from x uh, this y is going to vary from 0 to r that's the limit okay this this rectangular strip is going to sweep sweep from this 0 okay until you reach here so from 0 to r that's the limit from 0 to r and now let's begin okay so this 2 will travel upwards this is where we're going to go 2 over pi r square and integral from 0 to r and x square dot dy well x square can essentially be replaced by this term over here r square minus y square so let us do that and let us finish this 2 over pi r square multiplied by this integral 0 to r obviously and x square can be written as r square minus y square uh, times of dy you just need to solve this integration and this is going to be very simple and when you integrate you'll have this value r square y this is, operator is dy that's why r square y minus y square will become y cube over 3 and you need to plug in the limits from 0 to r once you put in the limits the final value of x bar that you're going to get will be equal to what same same stuff it's going to be equal to 4 r over 3 pi so guys that's it and let me show you the centroid will be somewhere here like this this is x bar whose value is 4 r over 3 pi and this over here is y bar whose value also has been worked out as 4 r over 3 pi so guys uh, that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering mechanics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get an instant notification anyway i'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing and mechanics until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day keep learning thank you